Hi friends, it's Jody with Squiggly Doodles. Let's draw this super fun picture. Come on, let's get doodling. Let's get started drawing our shamrock. So the very first thing we're gonna do is here on this side, we're just gonna make a little triangle like that. And it's far up, if this is the middle, it's over. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side of our paper. You can find this point, draw a line over, make a dot. And again, we'll do the same thing, but going the opposite direction. And then we're gonna do that again right here. So if you were to draw a line going down, you could make a dot, go over and down, make a dot there. So it's almost like an imaginary square. And then you can make this rectangle going that way, or not rectangle, <laughs> triangle, and one going like that. So this is the very first step. Now we're going to go ahead and make our clover petals. So what we're going to do is find the middle and you're just going to make up at the top of the paper, make a mark. And you could even go ahead and make a dot in the middle here, maybe like right there. And then here in the middle and over here in the middle. So now we're just gonna connect our lines with our dots. And if it looks a little funny, that's okay. We can fix it later. Okay, so a shamrock petal almost looks like a heart. So you could make another little triangle if you wanted, and then you're gonna curve this up and you wanna try to meet this line. So this one's gonna meet this line. So you could go up and over or take it and draw over. And if you don't meet exactly, that's okay, because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix it. From here, you're gonna go way in like that on each side. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. Go in, Ooh, this one almost went off the paper. And you're gonna go in, and you're like, how do you fix that? Watch, so you'll go, up, make like you're making that heart, go around and come in, and then same thing on this side, and meet that line, and we're gonna do that here. And it's gonna curve, go in, and curve. But now we need to make the shape more of a shamrock shape. So it's gonna be really thick black lines but right now we're just building what it, the shape looks like like that see how I just kind of outlined it like this one's gonna be a little wider like that so now we're just gonna make them really thick and this is gonna come in more too so all of these points will come in see how we did that Okay, so now we're gonna fill it and make this a very bold color. And I just color it black. And we're gonna smooth out any rough lines that you may have made trying to get the shape right. And like this shamrock I did, I have to really color bold. Another one that I did earlier, I didn't have to color it as bold. So it just depends. Your shapes and lines might not need that much, much thickness of the black, but it's okay if it does. And we're just gonna go in and around. And also, you can see, I turn my paper a lot. And that is okay. We're gonna do it here. We just want these lines to be a lot straighter. Like 
that. And we're going to color this one in. And it's okay that the petals are all different sizes. They don't have to be the same. Because art is not perfect. It's fun and creative. And then we'll do that here. And on this side, I definitely want to make more of a curve on some of these. And this is where you'll do that. And like this one's even going off the paper a little bit. And then here, I want to fix this. See how it's more squared? So I'm going to make it more curved like that. And go down. So there is our shamrock shapes. And if you still need to kind of play with it, that's okay. Take your time. You can always press pause before you get to the next step. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and draw a little stem and it's going to go off the paper because we don't have enough room. And I'm just going to draw it over here and it's just going to curve and be small like that. <laughs> now I want to make a shamrock face. So I'm going to go ahead and curve that in a little bit. I'm going to curve all of these in some like that. So what I'm going to do is draw two eyes towards the top. I'm going to make two circles, almost touching, try to make them the same size. And then on the outside of this eye, I just made a line going down. And then on this side, a curved, this one's more curved, curved line going down. And then we're going to do two circles right there in the middle. And then you can go ahead and color black all around like that. And I also want my shamrock to have eyebrows on each side <laughs> like that. And now we're going to go ahead and draw our mouth right in the center. So I'm just going to take one line, curve it that in that direction, make a line going up and out towards the eye. Another little curve, like almost like a C shape. And then I'm gonna draw a big U, like this. And then a line going across for the mouth. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add one more detail, just a little line. They're gonna be curved like this. See, it just kind of adds definition to the petal, like that. Okay. Now we can color. Today I'm gonna to use red for my tongue and then three different types of green. The darkest green, a medium, and then light green to color the rest of my shamrock. So let's get started. <laughs>
off with a little bit of my light green, just kind of all over. <laughs> but this shamrock was super fun to color and to draw. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this video today. And just remember, yours doesn't have to look like mine. And the more you practice with art, the better you get, the easier it becomes to stay on the lines, to learn the certain ways to draw curves. It takes lots of practice and I've been practicing for a long time. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. today. I hope you had a lot of fun and if you did, follow us, like us, and subscribe to our Instagram, our YouTube channel, Facebook page, and website.